My name is John Buxath. I'm the CEO at KCS, and uh, we perform a wide variety of biomedical services, including uh, large molecules as well as small, small molecule services. Well, like any CEO of the organization, it's really to set the tone, set the vision, and really be the champion of culture and the vision for the organization. At the same time, uh, I like to think of myself uh, with a coaching style, be the, the, the cheerleader for the organization as well. But be there to really set that direction and set expectations as well. Uh, really be that liaison and really, uh, really focus on where the organization wants to be and position itself with its customers like, like any other business. Well, we're focused mainly in the biomedical area, of course, and so as well as biomarkers, and most of our focus has really been advancing our platforms for our capabilities uh, with recent investments in limbs and investing in the latest equipment. Uh, we really are focused on becoming that go-to biomedical shop. So our recent focus has been significant investment in expertise and the technologies to really provide a complete service for the or excuse me, for the industry and what they're looking for. Well, over the last five to ten years, I think it's no secret there's been a significant amount of consolidation with a lot of uh, focus on globalization. There's been a significant consolidation within uh, the U.S. as well as in Europe. And then, of course, the interest in becoming a globalized uh, offering to many organizations and to the industry has been a focus of, of many strategic operations. Uh, I see that continuing at this point in time over the next five to ten years and like any industry it will continue to evolve however I do think that there will be new um, innovative ways to approach uh, serving the industry and I think a lot of that will continue to be focused on one-stop shop but I think there's always room for uh, innovative providers out there that are not one-stop shops well like with anything uh, there's a variety of customers out there and clients that are looking for what fits their needs and when you're taking everything from a small organization that might have a pipeline of only one molecule to a substantial large pharma type pipeline. There's just not a one size fits all type answer. So it, the industry has been providing services for decades now and there's always room for uh, smaller organizations, larger organization and those that are in between. And it really comes down to the fit and what industry is always looking for. I do think it will become more challenging for all type of operations to continue to meet those needs but really when it boils down to at the end of the day they're all looking for great service at a fair value with reliable service. You know, technology is always going to evolve and like anything uh, in any other industry it's only going rap more rapidly uh, as the days go by but that's just part of doing the business and we have to be in a position to assess those technologies make sure they do uh, support our clients needs uh, while there's new technologies being developed daily some of those end up being mainstream some of them do not and it really is our job in many ways to explore those, evaluate those, and then work with our customers to understand if that's really going to meet their needs. At the end of the day, it really is all about our clients and their ability to develop products and uh, us being able to support them in that development phase. And I think it's really evolved to the point where uh, the services industry really has to take some of that lead in helping their clients through that development process. So again, that really puts the burden back on the services organizations to, in many cases, take that lead and really provide uh, a lot of the advice and technology and you know, the applicability of those services and that technology and how it will help drugs be developed in the future. Well, we've made significant investments over the last two years. Uh, everything from our expertise, which obviously is the most important, our people obviously are the most important, that's true for any organization, but everything from facilities to equipment to our culture, it's just been an absolute uh, different organization today. Uh, with the investments that we've made and the leadership we've acquired and we're really positioning ourselves to be really that that top-end service with our expertise and the systems that we've been in investing in to really be that go-to biological service organization in the future. Well I think everybody would would agree that some of the advances that are out there obviously immunology is is a big focus. Uh, I get excited just you know just hearing about some of the applications there for what it's going to do for uh, you know the uh, patient population as a whole. So focusing in that area as well as additional areas, it really is becoming more of a, an attack across the board. There's so many more options today to develop products than there were say 10 years ago, 20 years ago. So really being able to focus and support all those technologies and all those products, uh, again with a biomedical focus, is, is absolutely key to uh, really producing life-saving products. 
Also, the regulatory process is becoming a little bit more flexible than it had been and had been, and really from there, uh, we're seeing opportunities where clients can get their products to the patients faster, and we're really excited to be a part of that and also play our part into helping patients receive their products faster to improve their quality of life. Oh, where will the field be in five to 10 years time? I think the fundamentals will still be the same. I do think it will continue to accelerate. I, I would anticipate that uh, there will be some major shifts in outsourcing providers. Uh, globalization will continue to, to move forward. Um, you know, five, ten years ago when uh, maybe we were looking at Asia, the idea was that services could be provided there and it would be uh, much more, you know, it would be considerably less expensive. Uh, but today, now that market's being looked at as one of the growth markets for our industry and for our uh, clients, and then therefore uh, a lot of the demand uh, for the outsourcing services is within their own country. And that's not unlike many other industries that have gone before us. So I see the, the industry continue to grow, assuming there's no major economic changes like that tend to interrupt the cycle. But as long as that stays fluent and uh, everything stays um, heading in that direction like it has been, I see the industry only growing and uh, innovative products continue to make the world a better place to live in.